Right, hello everybody. Welcome to my week one match in Rebel. Um, I, I, you know, I played this a while ago, but I, um, it was on a laptop, and uh, you know, the stream was terrible. My internet was bad, so I couldn't upload them to YouTube or anything. I haven't been able to upload to YouTube for a while, and I had a PC. I had, I had a laptop and not a PC, so I, you know, it was rubbish things for a while. So this is this is the Rebel season. So first match was up against Ricky Titan with. Dois Duco Chof Chof I don't know, um, and he, you know he's, he's a bit scary. He's got he's got a claw pom there and a pom there, and a claw and a mighty blow. Two strength ups. Um, I guess gassing lacking guard. Only three guard players. Um, bludge, bludge break tackle bull. Bludge break tackle bull. So you know one with frenzy, a strength four hobs with three plus strength ups. You know so he's. He's got a pretty tasty team. We're in we're in chase cam. Uh, he chose to receive. Won the toss and chose to receive. Obviously, I've got I've got three strength up beastmen, which is pretty good. Uh, a couple of guard warriors. I've got three guard totals. We're even on guard, but I've got a claw pom uh, without block and a full claw pom with tackle. So there you go. So yeah, I was you know this is uh, this is always going to be a tough match because it's just it depends on the dice rolls a lot, doesn't it? Um, yes, that's correct, random boy, yes. Um, yeah, it was a tasty team. I don't know what the inducements were. Um, it looks like no inducements for either side. So battered around on the LOS. But no players removed yet, so that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good uh, first turn, isn't it? So far, thus far. Survive the piling on men's. They they didn't pile on, <laughs> so you know there is that I guess. And he goes for the frenzy hit here. Frenzy trap. Is he punished? Of course not. And then dodges away. Wow, I can imagine. I can imagine that made me not very happy. <laughs> but tempered by not losing anyone in the LOS, so that's good, isn't it? Um, I think Frenzy can be okay. I, I like having Frenzy somewhere. I generally don't take it on a bull because I take it on a, on a claw, like a claw pump killer. Um, but if you're not going to take Frenzy on a Chorf, then it makes sense to have it on one of your bulls. But yeah, not like that. I didn't like that. As you can see here, I've engineered a hit on his Claw Pom. Because that's good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm scared of his Claw Pom. I even greed this. No, I don't. No, I should have greeted it. Minus one for you. No, I didn't have block, though. That's the thing. I didn't I didn't do it with block. If it had block on that hit, maybe I'll re-roll it. Even though it's stupid to use a reroll turn one, the opportunity to remove his claw pom was too good, wasn't it? I probably should have hit with block and rerolled that. I think, to be honest. So yeah, I mean, this is. I mean, I'm trying to win this season. Uh, the other seasons, I was prioritizing player survival, and I I made the decision this season to like prioritize winning uh, because my team's pretty decent, and I'm like, you know. It's not that I wasn't trying to win in the other the other seasons, you know. It's no disrespect to anybody or anything or the competition. But, you know, if you're faced with all mansing everybody um, to stop a score or not, then it's obviously easier to not do that and protect your players sometimes, isn't it? So, um... That he, he, re he greeds that, doesn't he? That was just a pure greed. Oh, so he could get... <laughs> He can, and then he, he claws him, claw palms him. And he survives. So I've had a bit of luck there, haven't I? I survived, uh, survived some good hits. I'm going to make uh, quite a few hits back now. I mean, this is the payoff. I mean, that was a heavy manzing. But that's it. When you've got more strength and more guard, or equal guard, but a lot more strength, I thought this was... A good thing. He's both his balls. One one bull's got the ball, so he's taken one strength four out of the fight, hasn't he? Himself. Pile on to no effect there. Brilliant. Of 
A little dirty, cheeky, dirty player here. Oh, double, the double skulls. That's what I would have got. I probably at the time I was like, look, double skulls. If I'd greeted that, I would have got double skulls. <laughs> Brilliant. Pylon, no effect. I mean, that was no effect. It, I had already got the stun, so the, the pylon was no effect. But that was no effect, even the pylon. So, you know, not ideal. It was an underwhelming turn for Lee getting lots of, a ton of free blocks, I think. No AV break there. And not much. Ooh, this is a bit. Oh, because it was protecting from the claw palm, I guess, right? Protecting from the claw palm. If he wants to blitz a skillless goat, he can be my guest. But maybe I should have gone back here. Looking at it, I thought after making that dodge, I'd have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, and got more back in front of the ball. But I didn't. But yeah, the reasoning was to protect him from getting clawed. Nope. And he gets the knockdown. But Frenzy has taken him into a claw hit. But he's got dodge. He's got he's got dodge and break tackle, hasn't he? So he's not scared of dodging away. And he's made a bit of a potato. And a bit more of a potato. And now he's made a fatal potato. What an absolute madman. Why is he stood on the sideline? There's a strength four beastman here. So this was a bit of a mistake by him, wasn't it? Um, very much a bit of a mistake standing on the sideline. If he'd gone there... He'd have been all right because he's got dodge, but he stood on the sideline, and this guy is very much in range. Um, so yeah, huge, a huge cock up from Ricky Titan there. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that because it just is, isn't it? That was a clear mistake. He was in GFI range. He gets surfed, and yeah, thank you very much. And the, <laughs> the ball goes in here next to where I'm at, where he's where he has successfully, funnily enough, put Lino you know, outnumbered me at the point of attack, and has stranded my players over here. But now, without throwing, I'm not stranded anymore, and it, it works out brilliantly for me because now I've got what how many six six to four over here after getting so yeah, it worked out an incredible throw in. <laughs> this is G Man Four, yeah, Wayne Ferry, yeah, yeah. Oh dear. So that was um that was something else, wasn't it? Nope. Oh, so there you go, two rerolls on blocks. I mean it's funny because obviously I want to hit his claw palm so that he doesn't get to hit me. So I really did want to really did want to do that block, you know, keep him locked down. Obviously got an A V break there, incredible. Um would have been knocked out if he wasn't a thick skull. So I, I think I've done a good job of controlling the claw palm, to be fair, in this. And I've got I've generated claw palm blocks for myself, and I've limited his claw palm. So even though he hasn't, you know, he didn't do that many armor breaks or whatever, and I haven't, I do think I've done well containing his claw and utilizing mine. And then obviously he has made he has made a bit of a a bit of a. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A blunder, that's the word. A blunder with that uh, that serve, obviously. But that was a nice chain out to get to get a, a tackle zone on the ball. Mm. He gets a double one there. That's pretty unlucky, isn't it? Into a V break, into removed. <laughs> <laughs> Dice like Jimbo there. Well done, buddy. Absolutely horrible, because that leaves me with the assist on him as well. So, a really, really horrible... I mean, I guess he could have moved there for the assist. So, it, it didn't make that much difference. But it does mean that this guy gets free to go in somewhere, doesn't it? Blitz him. Well, I needed the power as well, didn't I? Because he got stunned firm. And then tackle the bull. Leaving his bull basing the tackle palmer was uh, risky. Risky. Get the stone pile on. Oh yeah! He got a Kaz. Minus one strength. Apple fails. Um, so that is a that is a dead bull centaur, and that got that got me actually a bounty. Oh, I, d I don't know the name. Of the coach who was offering the chalk bounty, so apologies to him. I should have I should have remembered his name, but I didn't. 
but I did actually get 15 English pounds for for uh, <laughs> for wrecking that bull centaur. Brilliant. If anyone can remember his name, oh, that's really bad. Dwiggy, right there you go. Sorry, sorry, Dwiggy, that I forgot, but it was it was glorious. I mean, I didn't know that the I didn't know that it existed before I made the block or anything, but um. I was only told in chat. <laughs> I was only told in chat that there was a there was a thing for it. So um, yeah, I didn't get. Oh god. Um, I didn't get the I didn't get the ball there, but I thought I didn't need it, you know, because I thought I've got a tackle zone and I'm strength four. He can't clear the tackle zone, so he's gonna have to pick up my tackle zone, dodge out to do anything. And I I did get a little bit unlucky, I guess, with the block dices after getting the kill, but um. Yeah, he's he's got a chance here to to pick up the ball and run away or something, hasn't he? Red dice blocks are plenty, and um, yeah, he, he gets the pick up and the tackles on the dodge out. It wasn't that unlikely, was it? And he does a pass, and now it's like oh, it's looking <laughs> it's looking bad for me because now all these guys are stranded over here again. So. Yeah, I could could I have could I have surfed this guy possibly? Could I have surfed him? Maybe it was him. I could have surfed him, couldn't I? Probably probably a lot of work though. Yeah, probably too hard to surf him. He could have been surfed. But unrealistic to surf him. Far better to focus on trying to secure the ball and stuff. Cheeky Kaz. Very nice. Rookie rookie beastman getting a Kaz there. So do, do I hit this dirty player to to stop the Oh no, because I couldn't because it was it wasn't a knockdown. I will not be getting a frenzy beastman anytime soon. Hello everybody by the way, I can't I'm, you know I'm focusing on this rather than looking at chat at the moment. I do apologize. Um so yeah, so now this guy's free. So does he blitz the dirty player? Yeah, I guess he does. Oh, he blitzes to get away from the sideline. And uh, okay, that's fair enough then. That's fair enough. But it means he's got a. It means he's got a hobgoblin. And he does the one dice blitz and gets the pow. And a removal. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Maybe I should have blitzed this this hobgoblin, eh? He is move busted though. Fails the pick up. Makes it and he's away. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, he's away. He stood on the sideline again as well. But um Right, one, two, three, four, five, GFI, G I could dodge double GFI here. But surely I wouldn't have done that. I think I just want to sit on him, don't I? Blitz, blitz him and then sit on him to make it hard for him to score. It's probably, probably what I'll have done. That seems like a reasonable course of action with no rerolls. Maybe if I had a reroll, maybe I'd have gone for the dodge double GFI. But it's not really my style anyway. Cheeky removal again. Do I pile on? No. No, because I, th I think I'm going to stop the score at this point, don't I? Lovely. Another claw palm hit. Another AV break. Do I even pile? Of course I pile on. <laughs> of course I do. Get a fucking pile on. Right. Um, so yeah, yeah, sticking him on there is good, isn't it? Really. That is pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have piled on. I don't know if I used the whole movement. Maybe I shouldn't have piled on and moved there to stop this dodge out blitz. But um, there was a chance of me not piling on there. The chance of not piling on being the best play. But he does the dodge and fails it. And I'm pretty lucky there because that was a 4 plus 3 plus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI. 4, 3, 2. That wasn't unlikely to score, was it? So pretty lucky that he didn't score there. 3, 4, 5, GFI, GFI. He's actually out of range now. Um he's move busted so defense was a def defense was a success but I probably should have um, yeah I probably should have not piled on and gone there to stop him getting blitzed but 
him getting blitz was the same as him doing same odds as him doing the dodges anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, so it didn't matter. But look at this cheeky cheeky surf here. Three dice surf. Isn't it? No, just two, and that because I kept the guy for the ball. Wow. Unbelievable. I could have fouled here rather than just going for the pickup, but pick up and say I thought I th I thought I was going to make it three dice then, but then I thought that would have really left it pretty well. No, he couldn't score though, so it didn't matter. So actually, I shouldn't have gone for the pickup because he just literally couldn't have scored. I wonder if I uh, if I didn't realise the move bust when I was actually playing the game. Because that pickup didn't matter, did it? Whereas, oh no, I've got a scoring threat. I've got a scoring threat. There you go. I have a scoring threat. I just forgot about that. This is the thing. You play blood ball and you get you get tunnel vision, don't you? And I was think getting tunnel vision about surfing that guy, but actually, there's a chance of a touchdown now. What a what a clever man. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no. Oh, and then I double, double, double down and fail. So I, I couldn't have made it three dice anyway. And um, didn't get the chance. <laughs> didn't get the chance of the touchdown in the end. Thanks to a block. But I mean, that's fine, isn't it? Um, heavily outbashed him and stopped his score. So obviously very happy at half time there. All these players out. And the claw mighty blowout for me is obviously not ideal because I've only got three only got three claw guys, but it's still it's still all right, isn't it? It's not the end of the world, especially compared to his. So that's what three, six, nine players. He's down two. Maybe I should have made a foul at the at the end of the first half there, um, rather than picking up. Oh, no, I was picking up the ball to try and score. So that's fair, isn't it? So yeah, all I've got to do is grind him out for the one nil now, haven't I? So. So yeah, I mean, I think I think my I think my claw palm hits have been luckier than his claw palm and palm hits, but then I think I piled on more, and also I think I have engineered better blocking opportunities. There you go. I'm glad you like the, the piling on debate. I might have not piled on. I think it, I think yeah, with one with one square of movement that left, it was better to not pile on. But it doesn't matter. So I managed to do myself out of mighty blow blocks there, didn't I? But then I thought just hitting with block was fair enough against. Uh, I think I just prioritised blocking with block because they're armor seven anyway. And I thought I've already removed two. I don't need to remove any more on the LOS. I just didn't want to use rerolls. Um, didn't want to use rerolls on that pickup because there's still a screen, isn't there? Even knocks this guy, there's still a screen, so the pickup wasn't that dodgy. Uh, obviously, set up to stop a blitz, pretty much. So the formation's held, and it's uh, it's all right, isn't it? He gets the pom blitz. Frustration reroll? No, no, he kept his cool. Kept his cool. Didn't didn't frustration reroll. This is going to be a three dice here, isn't it? With with a, with a non-block guy, and he does get to run around a bit. Oh, I'm going to try and surf him. Already, already, I know I'm going to try and surf him. <laughs> even if even if I couldn't remember it because it was like seven weeks ago um, this is so obvious going to try and surf him yeah indeed rest of development yeah yeah and he, he's got three strength ups but so have I so he's still lacking in strength so yeah I, I feel like you need the bulls in the fight but obviously if you have the bulls in the fight then they might get claw pommed like this one wasn't killed so it, it's rough it's rough at high TV you feel a lot more comfortable with the bulls fighting at low TV. Cheeky KO. Without kill skills. Well, that's it, isn't it? The hobgob. So I, I, I liked my non skill kills. My non skill skills guys 
fighting his hobgoblins. I, I thought that was okay because they had block, didn't they? So yeah, he's got guard, so I couldn't cancel his assist, so I just needed two more. I've got a GFI here. <laughs> <laughs> and another one go for the surf and of course it fails boo he does not use dodge because if he hadn't one two three four five six seven he'd have been gone um this was a bit dodgy wasn't it because he was uh he stand firm there so if i if i hadn't got the knockdown i couldn't have picked up the ball but I don't even re-roll the pickup because I didn't care that much about picking up the board. He's only got one bull. He's pretty controlled, so there, w there wasn't there wasn't a lot of threat to my ball anyway, was there? There wasn't much threat of a ball sack anyway. So desperation claw palm hit. Only claw mighty blocks. He didn't follow up. So. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a horrid matchup for the Charles. I'd say it's a bad matchup for them. But it's still... There's still a lot of luck because we've both got Claw Palm, haven't we? You know? That's the thing. We've both got Claw Palm. So a lot of it is is down to that. The fact that we both have Claw Palm. So if he, if he rolls well... <laughs> no, no, no matchup is that bad if you roll well, isn't it? Once you've got a high TV Chorf team. Even the bad matchups that are bad. I mean, Chaos is a bad matchup for Chorfs. A high TV, no doubt about it. But if he rolls well, he's just going to steamroll me. Um, and obviously he hasn't... He hasn't... Rolled that well. Uh, but had he rolled well... And piled on more... <laughs> And not got his bull surfed. Uh, he would have done better. I can't remember what TV it was to be honest. Um, I think it was about 1700 or something. Something like that. You know, he's still he's still battling, you know, to be fair to him. To be fair to him he's 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 cracking on trying to trying to stop this still. He's not giving up. Not not that I'd expect anybody to, but you know, he's still battling trying to stop the score. He could just be trying to protect his players and stuff, which you know, wouldn't be a terrible thing to do. I mean, I guess there's an element of protecting the bull here, but I mean, it's not just protecting him from being killed. You also want him to be relevant later in the drive, don't you? So it's not just, I don't want my player killed. It is also, um, I don't want to lose my player for this drive because I want him to, to do something effective. Oh, thanks, Cynical Energy. There you go. I was 1860, Chaucer 1800. Did he have a babe then? Don't know why he didn't have a bay. So the, the movement guy just completely failed to pick up the ball. So I thought, all right, then the strength guy can have it. Because um, I, I, I thought things weren't going very well for me here, are they? He's, he's made a removal. I've got three, six, nine, ten. I've got ten. And he's got three, six, seven. And I'm thinking to myself, um, I can't really pin down this ball, can I? Because he's kind of movement nine. So if he gets to hit the ball, I don't want him to hit a skillless strength three. Um, and because I spent so long picking up the ball, three failed pickups, I thought, go for the strength four pickup. And then, you know, if I have to potato, if he gets a one dice on me, it's not as devastating in one dicing me as it is, as it is in two dicing a, uh, a defenseless player. All right, thank you, Cynical NG. I'll I'll look at that in 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 future weeks. Then, <laughs> in in the in the future replays, I'll be able to tell people what the TVs were. Um. So yeah, I mean, obviously, I've got to go up this way now, haven't I? Uh, we've both got three players over here, so that's okay. So all my players can move over there and and get a bit forward this turn now. 
Surprising that I did the blitz with him and not my Iglo. I guess I want to keep him next next to the keep him free free so he can hit the ball I guess that was my idea with, for not blitzing with him yeah kind of protecting him a bit so maybe I wasn't going full all out win here I don't know I think I did want to protect him from getting too deep a little bit but yeah this is and I don't know why he, he should have been here shouldn't he I don't know why this player was there instead of there but this is quite good isn't it three versus three over there so now it's his four versus my seven. <laughs> but like it's still not. I've run out of time just by failing to pick up the ball. Has made things has made things hard, and he has got a lodge break tackle. It's hard to pin down. Oh, the Chov's going to an extra Apo. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense because he's used an Apo. He used the Apo and the Apo failed on that bull center and he still got one. So yeah, he's going to the Apo. Thank you very much, Wayne Farah. So he gets another claw, gets up another pile on. But again, that, that I'm okay with that pile on because it's still three, three versus three over here. So now I can push on this way and cage up here somewhere, can't I? Hit with a claw pom this time. Yeah, it, it's it's amazing how like tight it's been. Maybe I could have moved. No, I couldn't move any further. That was that was as much as I could get. Probably want to protect him a bit, don't I? I actually put, have to go around there because he could just run all the way around, couldn't he? Bull sentinels, pretty good. I was trying to free up the wrestle to just get him into into somewhere, and because I I just thought the dwarves are so slow. Then uh, I had a reroll available anyway, so I wasn't that was that that looked like a silly reroll, but I did have three rerolls for three turns, so I didn't get the power and then didn't make the dodge. But I thought, you know, he can only go one square, can't he? And even if you freeze him up, it's only four squares. We're not going to have much of an effect if he freezes he freezes guy up. Whereas if my if I could have freed up my wrestler, it'd have been even bigger advantage. Again, a bit of a greed reroll, but he had three reels for three turns, so why not? And he kept, he kept, you know, he's keeping the bull back. He's doing the right thing, keeping the bull back, because I can't really get him. Uh, you know, if I was getting any chance to hit his bull with my uh, claw pom, I would have done. And he makes the GFI, so he does get him relevant. So my dodge away is looking a bit worse now, because he's suddenly, all of a sudden, he's got another player in. Makes all the GFIs there as well. So it's like, it's it's pretty close, isn't it? Get a horrible both down there. Absolutely horrible. Obviously, I just needed the push to free up the the uh, beast man. Um, knock him down. And so now the only thing I've got is, a handoff is better than a dodge, isn't it? Because if I fail the dodge, I've, I've, I'll lose the ball if I fail the dodge. But also I'll lose the ball if I fail the handoff. But at least the players are standing if I fail the handoff. Um, I and I, you know I just couldn't get the players in front to screen from the bull, so I think just going for the handoff GFI is the best here. But I fail the handoff, so now without a reroll, I don't want to make the GFI to score, so I go back a square. <laughs> and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to be double GFI in the last turn. So I think I could have stood a better square here. Probably, probably could have been. Should have been one square forward, I don't know why I wasn't. Oh, the reason that I was one square forward was... Um, it would have just been one break tackle and it hit me then. So, I wanted to go back a square. See, if, if we if we look here... what He actually does this wrong, I believe. If, I, if, if, I'm, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm here, if I'm here, then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six and hits me. Whereas this way he's got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he can still hit me, but it means he's got to do it's an extra dodge, isn't it, with his break tackle. And it's through tackle as well. 
but he does that and he, he does it wrong because he uh he does the second dodge on a on a five plus instead of a four plus but he makes the dodges and hits me so maybe i should have gone back two square no but i had to go back one square to still be in range so there you go with hardly anyone on the pitch is is a is amazing bull center does the job and now it's going to take pretty lucky dice to score <laughs> Despite doing all of this. Crazy. So yeah, I was obviously pretty pretty gutted by that. But it wasn't that unlikely, was it, when you think about it? He's got break tackle. He, and he, so he had two he had the, f the first dodge if he just rolled well, like he probably did, he still had break tackle for the second dodge. But I do think he should have uh he should have done it slightly different. Right, Blitz clears the tackle zone. He is in range with two GFIs. So, there's a chance. And good job I've got two plus plus movement beastmen here. Oh! Tripwire! Whew! <laughs> and there you go, that was... That was a really close one, wasn't it? Um, to say that I did all of this, <laughs> five I made five cars, didn't take any cars, and only just one. I, you know, I had to roll dice to win. Pretty, pretty hard dice to win as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I felt, I felt like I should have definitely played better this game. Um, but you know, credit to him, isn't it, for making me, making me make the rolls and stuff, and making it close. He did, he did get in the way. Fair, fair. You know, this this bull was a was an absolute pain in the ass on defense. I just couldn't. He wouldn't let me hit him. He wouldn't let me hit him with tackle palm. <laughs> After seeing what happened, the only other time a bull got hit, so he protected him and kept him a threat very well. I did, I did fail three pickups in a row. That's true. But and I did fail to surf that ball. I mean, if I'd made the surf on the ball, it would have been an easy score. If I'd made the pickups, it would have been an easy score. But I did use all my re rolls. I didn't re roll any pickups, and I still ended up using all three re rolls. So I think I was justified in not re rolling the pickups. <laughs> um, and there you go, last turn, Kaz there, standard. Only a badly hurt though, so it's all right. I thought just my luck to take a perm after after completely dominating the match like this. But only winning 1-0 in a completely dominated match. I should have played more for the ball um, after after the throwing up, for sure. Because just leaving him in front there, that was that was bad. I should have absolutely focused more on the ball once I'd, once I'd got the surf and the throw in. 100%. But, um, yeah, 18 AV versus 7. I mean, that, that was insane, wasn't it? I murdered half his team. It felt like every block was a knockdown. And on, it was only 18 AV breaks and um, 59 blocks. So, yeah, that was loads of star player points. Um, the uh, the pickups were three three past four failed, all three pluses were pretty funny. But I mean, you know, the dice, they're usually going to be more or less right, aren't they? What's this? 51. 51, 35, 40. So I did roll a lot of skulls and and both downs, but, you know, nothing crazy. And he got 22, 31, 27, so he didn't roll many skulls or both downs, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, wow, 31 GFIs he tried. <laughs> but he's, he's got bull centaurs, hasn't he? So he's got sure, sure feet on a lot of those GFIs. So there you go. Um... That was game one of Rebel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.